Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ella and welcome to my channel where I make tech related videos. And today I'm going to be talking about these new pair of headphones that I got on Black Friday. And originally I wasn't going to make a video on these headphones, but these are like so good that I just need to tell you guys about them. So I got these headphones from the website drop.com for $150 on Black Friday, but now I think they are retailing for $170 which is still like very very good. These are the Sennheiser HD 5AX and let me just tell you guys these are seriously life-changing. Like I know that sounds really dramatic but these really are. Also guys this video is in no way sponsored. I bought these myself. They were actually recommended to me and I am really just truly genuinely shocked at how good these are for how like relatively affordable they are and that's why I am making this video. Okay, so before these headphones, this is what I had. These are the Samsung Galaxy Buds and these are the... Uh, what are these again? The Beats Solo 3. And I'm going to briefly talk about the Galaxy Buds. Honestly, I didn't use the Galaxy Buds very much. I really only use them when I went outside. I find that they are quite uncomfortable after a long time. Like they literally make my ears hurt. And also the sound is decent, but it's not like anything amazing. That's why I, I didn't really use them that much. And now um, these, <laughs> these beats, honestly, I barely use these. I didn't even bring these with me to Vancouver. When I moved to Vancouver for a semester, I only brought my Galaxy Buds, so. Yeah, you guys can tell, like, I really don't use these beats that much. And the reason is because they are quite uncomfortable, like, they really squeeze my head. It gets really uncomfortable after just a little bit. Also, um, it kind of suffocates my ears. Like, I feel like, especially after a long time, my ears just need to breathe and they can't breathe through these things. And again, the sound is like decent, but it's definitely nothing amazing. Also, I don't think I bought these beads. I think I got them through like a back to school promotion, something like that. Okay, and now let's talk about the price. So these Galaxy Buds, they cost $150. I think these beads also cost probably somewhere similar $150 to $200 and these headphones, I got them for $150, right now they are retailing for $170. So these three headphones are in the same price range but the Sennheiser HD 5AX in terms of sound quality and comfort blows the Beats and the Galaxy Buds out of the water. These headphones, even though I've only had them for like two weeks, but already they've changed how I listen to my music. So before I got these headphones, I honestly didn't listen to music that much. And when I did, I usually just play the music out loud from my laptop or my phone or my iPad. Before listening to music, I never thought to connect my Galaxy Buds just because I didn't think it was worth it. Like to me, the Galaxy Buds really Really didn't make the music sound any better than if I just played them out loud so yeah <laughs> however now I am listening to music so much more and also every time before I start listening to music I always make sure to plug these headphones in just because the music sounds so much better through these headphones than when they're just played out loud okay and now I'm going to talk more in depth about these headphones the sound quality is honestly amazing like the sound quality of this seriously cannot even be compared to the sound quality of the Beats and the Galaxy Buds it is just so much better. <laughs> I wish I can convey to you guys how good it sounds, but I really can't. It is hard to describe sound, but the one word that I would use to describe the sound quality coming out of these headphones is that it is very, very clear. These headphones are also very comfortable to wear as well, even for a long time. When they first came, they were a lot more like clothes like this. However, this part of the headphone is metal. So what I did was I just like bent it and now it is a lot more like spacious in between and it clamps my head less. So I was able to make these more comfortable myself and also these headphones are actually open back headphones so that means that the back plate of these headphones aren't completely sealed instead these have a lot of these tiny little holes so what that does is it helps to not suffocate my ears like even after a long time my ears still feel like they can breathe okay and now really quickly i just want to tell you guys one of my first impressions of these headphones and it was through the song mago by g friend by the way if you've never heard that song um, 
um, after watching this video, I highly recommend go checking it out because that song is seriously so good. <laughs> anyway, so one day before I got these headphones, my friend texted me and told me to listen to Mago. So I searched up and I just played it out loud on my phone and I was like, uh, yeah, like this song is okay, I guess. It's like a pretty good song, the melody is fine, but it kind of sounds busy. And that was my first initial reaction after playing the song out loud. So I didn't really like the song when I first heard it. However, after I got these headphones, I played the song Mako again through these headphones and I was like, Oh my goodness, like this song is so much better than I remembered it to be. It sounded a lot less busy, but instead I could hear like all of the details, the backing vocals, the instrumentals. I could hear all of the details when listening to that song through these headphones. Whereas when I was just playing it out loud, all of the complex things that was going on in the background didn't sound clear to me. Instead, it just sounded super busy. And that's why the first time I said, oh, this song like doesn't sound that great, but it's actually just because my phone speakers couldn't convey the complexity of all of the instrumentals, the vocals, whereas through my headphones, I could differentiate between those. So the song Mago just sounded so much better through these headphones. Okay, and one last thing that I want to point out about these headphones is that because they are open back, the sound does leak out and they're also not really noise blocking at all. Even when I have these on, I can hear everything that's going on around me. I can hear my dog bark. I can hear my sister talk. I can hear everything. However, um, I actually kind of like it that way because then I still know what's going on in the world. Like if my dog is barking at something, like I know to go look. And if my parents are trying to talk to me, then I'm actually responding to them instead of like not responding to them. So I actually do like how they're not noise blocking. And as for the sound leaking out, which happens for all open back headphones, so it's not just these specific pair of headphones, but it's really for all open back headphones. I really don't mind that and I also don't think that it's very, very severe. I definitely recommend these headphones. So if you are currently looking for some new headphones in order to chill to some nice music at home, then I highly suggest looking into these. And of course, if there is someone in your life who likes music, who wants to just have some chill time at home with some nice music, then uh, maybe consider getting these for them for Christmas. Overall, I think that these headphones are super worth it. Like for $170, the sound quality is insanely good and also it's very comfortable too okay so that is going to be it for this video um if you are looking for some new headphones then i hope that this video helped you and give you some inspiration for what to look for i will have a link to these headphones down below it is going to be the drop.com website it's not going to be an affiliate link um it's just going to be the link that you'll find if you google it but uh, in order to save you guys some time i'm just gonna leave a link down below and yeah um if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe to my channel down below if you want to continue supporting me and my tech content i also have a few links down below as well i have a link to a chrome extension that i made my twitch and my instagram so if you want to like get to know me more then feel free to check out the description and um yeah that will be it i will be back soon with more tech related content so I hope to see you in another one of my videos. Bye!